Welcome to the Diploma MSc Tutor Training video. Once you have logged in, you will be on your dashboard where you can access the different courses and modules you are enrolled on. For the purpose of this video, the example we are using is from our diabetes course. However, the structure and formats of the other modules and courses will all be the same. You can use either the quick access on the dashboard or go to the left hand side under My Courses where all of the modules you are enrolled on will be listed. When you click on the module, you will be taken to the module page. On this page, you will be able to access all of the various module components. At the top of the page, the reading list and other information relevant to the module will be listed here that students will be able to access. You can view the participants by going to the left hand side of the page and selecting Participants. You will then be given a list of the users in the module including other tutors and have access to their registered email address should you wish to contact them directly. You can navigate back by selecting the module at the top of the page. The first component listed on the page are the weekly case quizzes. Tutors do not need to complete this and they do not mark them as student support will collate the results. The weekly quizzes are where tutors and students can find the discussion points for each week and you can see which topic will be discussed each week within the section of the weekly topics. To find the discussion points and attempt the quiz if you wish to do so, simply click on the desired weekly case to start. You can then click preview or if the quiz is not yet released you can go to the administration heading on the left hand side and select preview. You will be able to preview the quiz even if it is not released to students. You can either attempt the quiz or go straight to the bottom of the page without completing anything and select finish attempt. You will then need to select submit all and finish and then confirm it again on the right hand side of the page. You will then be taken to the explanation page where the answers, explanations, references and discussion points will be displayed. Hover over red cross to display the correct answer. Discussion points are often within the explanations. They can be in each separate explanation or all together in one section. Once you are finished, scroll to the bottom and select finish review. You can then use the top of the page to navigate back again. The case discussion forum can be found under the weekly cases. Simply click it in order to enter the, the forum. You will be able to view other people's posts and respond or create new discussion topics and new messages will be highlighted. You should separate your group using the drop down menu. When creating a new discussion topic, you must make sure you have selected your group, even if there is only one group in the module. You can do this by either selecting the separate group drop-down box before posting or before you submit your post. Type your subject and message, scroll down to the bottom of the page and select your group. Make sure your correct group is selected before you post to the forum. Failure to separate the group will result in students being able to read your post but not able to respond to it. To respond to a thread, click the discussion title. It is easier to view replies in what is called a nested form. This way you'll, you will be able to see all of the posts of who has replied. To change this, go to the top and select your preference. Users can choose whichever preference they like, but we recommend the nested form. Then to reply, click the arrow at the bottom right of the post. If you do not have the minimum browser requirements, you will not be able to view the buttons available, including the reply button. Please see the frequently asked questions listed on the bottom of our website for more information on what the browser requirements are. These requirements are vital for full use of the course. Please remember the discussion forum times out and lost work cannot be retrieved. We strongly recommend creating your posts in a Word document and copying and pasting them into the forum. You can edit your posts by selecting the pencil image, but please do not edit the posts of students. Also, please do not use the maximum rating tab under each post. The only feedback students should be able to see before results are released are for the portfolio, which we will look at now. Next is the learning portfolio or journal. Again, you should select the correct, the correct group and your tutor group will be displayed. Then click view all submissions to view the submission statuses of portfolios and be able to access them. Click the magnifying glass to maximize the text and you'll be taken to the full version of the text. 
You will need to go back to the group list before you can add a comment. To add a comment, simply click the word comments and you will be able to see any previous comments as well as being able to add a new one by entering the box that displays add a comment. Once you have done writing your comment, press save comment. The student will then be able to see your comment when they enter their portfolio. Alternatively, you can select a participant from the list by clicking their name and this will take you to their profile. Select the module required if it's not already selected and then go to the right hand side under reports and select complete report. You will then be taken to the complete report of the student where you can see their progress for all of the components including their forum posts. To find the portfolio, scroll down to the end of the case discussion forum post where the portfolio will be underneath. You can then click the plus button to maximise the text. You can then add your comment immediately after reading the entry by selecting the word comments and following the same instructions given before. Please do not add anything to the feedback comments as the student will not be able to see this. The next section is the group activity. Students are marked on their group report, their evidence of activity when creating the report and their individual reports which is separate to the group report with its instructions. You can monitor their evidence and give any feedback by using the group activity forum. This forum works exactly the same way as the case discussion forum so you must ensure you are separating your group when you engage within the forum. Students are required to send a draft of the report at the end of week 3 which is usually posted within this forum. The group reports and individual report instructions have been separated to avoid confusion about what is expected. You can view the report topic by selecting the required report. Only the group leaders should submit the group report, however some students will often submit it as well. To view the submission, select Group Submissions. Then select View All Submissions when separating your group. You should be aware of who the group leader is from the activity in the forum. You will be able to see a list of the student submission statuses. Find the group leader and select the file under the column title File Submissions to open the report. If you have any issues opening any documents, please contact the student support team. Finally is the case-based examination. Students will have one hour from the moment they open their attempt to complete 30 multiple choice questions of a single best answer format. Same as the weekly cases, tutors do not need to mark the exams as the student support team collate this information. To preview the content, click on the exam. Like the weekly quizzes, go to the left hand side under the administration heading and select preview. The preview will look like the attempt of an exam so you will probably be required to click start attempt. Questions are shuffled for every attempt so the questions will not be in the same order for each exam. That is the end of the components so now we will go back to the complete report. Go to participants on the left hand side and then select the required student. You can also provide notes on the student that they will not be able to see. To do this, go to the top right and select Notes. You will then be able to click Add a new note. Add in the content and then save your changes. You can then revisit this section to review any notes you have added for the student. The complete report can be accessed on the right hand side underneath reports. You will be able to see all of the students progress in the module as well as their posts. Firstly you can see their weekly quiz results if they have attempted the quiz. Then you will be able to see their case discussion forum posts including the title and the date and time posted. You can also see the post within its thread by selecting the second button in. After the discussion post is the portfolio which we have looked at previously. You can also see the submission status of the portfolio as well as how many words have been added and can post your weekly feedback comments here. You can also see the submission deadline dates. 
Enter the portfolio, you can see their contributions to the group forum. Again, you can click the second button in to review their comment within the th context of the thread. After the forum post, you will be able to see the submission statuses of the group report and the individual report. Don't forget that only the group leader should submit the group report, but every student should submit an individual report. In these sections, you will be able to access the file submitted as well as seeing what data was submitted and how early or late the submission was. There is an informal extension that students often take advantage of where they can submit their work within five working days after the official deadline, so it is important to keep this in mind when it comes to marking if you access the files from this area. Anything submitted within the extension period will be capped at 40% and does not include the exam. Lastly is the case-based exam where you can see what the student got for the exam once they have completed it, should you wish to see how they performed. Tutors will often be contacted directly by students via the private messaging system and tutors can also contact students and other users via this method. Go to the left hand side and select messages. You can either use the drop down box to view messages from contacts, recent conversations, etc. or you can search the user on the right hand side. You can then add them as a contact by selecting the plus button and view message history or start a new message by selecting the message button on the right hand side. Type your message and then click send message. You can visit the site home and this will give you the module overview of each of our courses but most importantly the module dates of which the end date is also the submission deadline date. You can tidy your dashboard by pinning the different sections of the course navigation tools away from your main dashboard. Simply click on the left facing arrow to pin the selected section. You can still access the information if you hover over the required section box. To unpin the section, just hover over it and then select the small right facing arrow next to the cross. We strongly recommend you do not pin anything until you are completely familiar and confident with the setup and layout of the course. Finally, all tutors should have access to the tutor page. If you cannot see this on your dashboard, please contact student support. This page is full of useful information for tutors, including handbooks, marker grids and the tutor forum. The tutor forum works exactly the same way as the other forums, except students do not have access to this. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any queries or need assistance with anything, please do not hesitate to contact student support.